the paint coming to help late. And I just thought um, after the, f the first half, we just didn't do a good job attacking and just reading, reading what we had in front of us. And so they was coming out, you know, with different matchups and we were getting stacked, like worrying about who's guarding who instead of just, you know, just running our offense and then attack who we want to attack afterwards. And so we talked about it after the first game. We did that, you know, in the first game, we're just putting guys on different guys to kind of, you know. But in that second half, I really like what we did. I thought we did a good job of getting to the paint, you know, attacking the basket, making the right play. And so uh, we had our chances, but, you know, a really good fight in that second half. Yeah, coming out of a timeout late in the first half, I think there were four straight trips to the paint immediately after the timeout. Was that an emphasis right then and there? Stop worrying about the matchups. Yeah, it was the emphasis at halftime. Just just attack. And if we you know just run our sets and whatever we got, no matter who's on who, and then when we want to get to the matchup, we can get to it at the end of the shot clock. And I thought we did a good job in the second half of just recognizing that and getting to what we wanted to get to. What did you make of early on? Um, just sort of why is efficiency early on? I thought he did a good job. I thought, um, you know, once we didn't handle the, the uh, double teams well like we normally do, um, the double teams on the post ups, the fires. I thought the second half we did a way better job of, of you know, handling what they were trying to do to us. Um, just something we got to continue to keep working on. You know, we haven't been whole like this for two years. Kawhi hasn't been back. He hasn't played in those type of situations, you know, in a while. And so we just got to get better at that. But I thought, like I said, Stoudemire did a good job of just mixing it up, sometimes switching, sometimes showing, sometimes blitzing. And um, he did a good job over there on the sideline and so um, you know it caused by surprise on a couple of those that we wasn't ready for and so um, you know you just got to go back to the drawing board and continue to keep getting better with that. I feel like um, for the last month when there's been offensive nights that have been hard we talked about splitting and firing for you guys off a little bit I mean obviously having so much quiet PG is that a matter of those guys making their decisions when guys are rushing at them or the other three guys on the court? Kind of a combination of both. Just making a simple pass to the first guy that's open, and, you know, not trying to skip it across the floor. And then when you are getting trapped or they firing, we got to make sure the other guys make themselves available. And so just, you know, keep working on it. So we've been working on it for a while, but just keep working on that, you know, so we can pick teams apart when they want to double team us. You went really heavy with minutes on the starters tonight. I know he goes, part of that was the ankle, obviously. Um, but what went into that? Just thinking down the road for a few meetings again, sort of how you might sketch out a rotation. I don't understand. I'm wondering. If, like, what went into such a starter heavy minutes distribution tonight? I don't see heavy. <laughs> I don't know what heavy is. Yeah. I saw Luke 16, Terrence not after halftime. Yeah. The usual faces. We went, nine, we went nine guys. Yeah. So, yeah. John played 16. Norm played 31. Uh, Nico was a little hurt and banged up. Luke played 17. So just whatever the game calls for, you know, is what we got to do. And so with a lot of guys being up the minute restrictions, it makes it a little easier just to try to find who's playing well and just trying to find those right combinations. How, uh, just how healthy was Reggie? I mean, not only the face, but the Yeah. Yeah, um, a little sore. I think got a little stiff. I don't know if it was one play that um, actually happened that, that – um, you know, got him to limping or whatever, but um, something wasn't right with him. I think it was both of them actually. So, just did a smart thing by getting him out of the game and just reevaluate him and see how he feels, you know, going forward. What's it say about Reggie to then come back and keep fighting what he does? Guess what he does. You know, he always wants to play, and you know, a lot of times we got to protect him from himself. You know, just being smart about it. What you feel like was the best stretch for you guys offensively tonight? And what went into that? Third quarter. Started the third quarter. I thought getting the mismatches and Kawhi attacking, getting to his spots, and when they double team, was able to get some wide open threes of just getting into the paint, making the right play. I feel like there's been a couple games in a row where the third quarter's been really sharp offensively, and that's been a low point at times. Is that something where you feel like guys are just more locked in coming out of halftime? Um, I don't know. I just think we've been making, you know, we've been talking about it, just being better coming out in the third quarters. And, you know, championship teams, that's what they do. They come out in the third quarter. And, um, you know, they perform in the third quarters. And so it was good to see us come out, you know, being down, I think, 12 at halftime and coming out and um, being able to tie it up going into the fourth quarter, you know. So, um, you know, it was good to see. And um, that's all I can say. Thanks, Doc.